10 Best Isekai Anime on Crunchyroll in 2023 For those of you who are unfamiliar, Isekai anime follows the journey of a protagonist who is transported or reincarnated into a different world, often with RPG-style elements. In this list, we will be showcasing the most exciting, thrilling, and entertaining Isekai anime series that you can watch right now on Crunchyroll. We have scoured through the platform to bring you the cream of the crop, so whether you are a seasoned isekai fan or new to the genre, there is something for everyone here. So sit back, relax and get ready to dive into a world of magic, adventure and epic battles. Without further ado, let's jump right into the top 10 best isekai anime on Crunchyroll in 2023. Starting off with our number 10, The Faraway Paladin. The story takes place in the ruined city of the dead, where a young human child named Will is raised by three undead, Blood the Skeleton Warrior, Mary the Mummy Prestis, and Gus the Ghost Wizard. Together, they teach Will about their world and show him love and care. As he grows up, Will begins to question his identity and learns about the different gods of the land, some good and some evil. Eventually, Will sets out on a path to become a paladin. What sets the series apart is its slow and deliberate pace, allowing the audience to truly understand and appreciate the characters and world building. The development of Will and his family is a highlight of the show, adding depth to his character and making us invested in his journey. While some viewers may find the slow pacing off putting, we believe it adds the overall charm and uniqueness of the series. If you are a fan of Isekai genre and looking for a story with a heart and depth, then The Faraway Paladin is definitely worth a watch. And if you love the anime, we highly recommend checking out the light novels for even more immersive storytelling. Number 9. My Next Life as a Villainous All Roots Lead to Doom. The story follows Katarina Kleiss, a wealthy heiress who suddenly regains the memories of her past life as an Otomi game enthusiast. To a shock, she realizes that she has been reincarnated as the villainous character in the game Fortune Lover, with the fate of either exile or death awaiting her. Determined to change her destiny, Katarina sets out to avoid all the flags of doom and create her own happy future. The series stays true to the original storyline and delivers a delightful mix of comedy and romance. The characters are all incredibly charming and it's easy to pick a favorite. Watching Katarina earn the favor of those around her while hilariously avoiding her fate as the villainess is a joy to watch. This is a light-hearted and cute anime with no real villains, making it a perfect choice for those who want to unwind and have a good laugh. We highly recommend giving My Next Life as a Villainess a chance, and we guarantee it will leave you with a smile on your face. Number 8. Grimgar, Ashes and Illusions From the very first episode, you will be blown away by the gorgeous artwork and attention to detail. The action scenes are intense and well executed, and the overall aesthetic of the show is simple and breathtaking. But what really makes Grimgar stand out is its emotional depth. The characters are all well developed and their relationship with each other are heartwarming and touching. You will find yourself rooting for them every step of the way. The storytelling is top notch and will keep you on the edge of your seat. Watching the characters navigate their way through the challenges they face is a thrilling experience and you will be invested in the journey from start to the finish. Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash is easily one of the best isekai anime out there and deserves more recognition than it's currently getting. We highly recommend it to any fan of fantasy or just good storytelling in general. It's a must watch for anyone looking for an action packed, emotionally resonant and beautifully animated anime. Give it a chance and we are sure you won't be disappointed. Number 7. Overlord the story is about a character named Momonga who becomes trapped within his favorite MMORPG as it's about to shut down. He discovers that he has been immersed in the game and with his powers and loyal NPCs, he sets out to take over the world. The plot is anti-heroic and epic compared to SAO. The animation and CGI of the anime are well done unlike Berserk 2016. 
The music of Overlord is impressive with one of the best hype opening songs in recent times. The characters are colorful and their personalities shine through, with many of them showing their loyalty to Momonga and the main character. Momonga is an intelligent character who can solve problems with prudence and wit. He helps others but only if it benefits him. Overall, Overlord is a must watch for fans of anime looking for a well executed MMORPG with great characters, sound, and animation. Number 6 Log Horizon Log Horizon, an anime that often gets compared to Sword Art Online, may start out a bit slow, but it definitely has its own unique charm. While the animation may not be as good and there is less action compared to SAO, the atmosphere of Log Horizon is great and the characters are well developed. The main character, Shiroi, is a standout character who carries the series on his back and the scene where he creates the round table through blackmail is a highlight of the series. The story may be a bit slow at times, but it still manages to be pretty good and it's likely that the Log Horizon 2 will take it to the next level. The sound is also good, but the fight scenes may be chaotic and harder to follow due to the character's unpredictable abilities. Despite some annoying characters, the series evolves and everyone eventually finds their place. While Log Horizon is different from SAO in many ways, it's a great recommendation for anyone who liked SAO or even those who didn't. It's closure to souls like Code Geass and Date Note in terms of main character's personality and has barely any love story. Overall, Log Horizon is a solid start to the series with a lot of potential. Moving on to our number 5, Saga of Tanya the Evil. The story follows a platoon of mages led by our main character, Tanya, a second lieutenant who is only about 10 years old but is an absolute badass. They use magic through guns which is epic as heck. Throughout the series, we get to see some intense battles and strategic planning at headquarters. The animation is top class and of high quality. The action scenes are flashy, bright, and colorful competing with some of the best I've seen. The sound is also awesome, really getting me pumped up especially during the conflict moments. I take my hats off to both the animation and music. As for the characters, it's a bit early to say much but Tanya is a really interesting character with a unique side to her that I can't spoil here. Overall, I think Saga of Tanya the Evil is going to be an awesome anime. If you are a fan of action and magic, then this is definitely a show that you should check out. Number 4. Ascendance of a Bookworm The anime Ascendance of a Bookworm follows the story of Motusu Yurano, a college student and bookworm who dies in an unexpected accident. She is reborn as Mai, the daughter of a poor soldier in a town with a strict class system. Mai's love for books remains, but they are only available to the nobles. Undeterred, she decides to create her own books. Despite the slow storyline and lack of action, the show's character development and bonds between the characters make it a great watch. The show doesn't rely heavily on foreshadowing, which keeps the plot unpredictable. It's a relaxing yet emotional engaging show that will tug at your heartstrings. Overall, Ascendance of a Bookworm is a must watch for those who enjoy character driven stories and appreciate the power of books. The creators of this show have done an excellent job and I highly recommend it. Number 3. The Rising of the Shield Hero The anime The Rising of the Shield Hero follows the story of Naofumi Iwatani, an otaku who suddenly finds himself summoned to a parallel universe. He becomes one of four heroes tasked with saving the world from his prophesied destruction. However, as the weakest hero, Naofumi is soon betrayed and left alone with his only shield. Now, he must rise to become the legendary shield hero and save the world. Despite being another isekai anime, The Rising of the Shield Hero offers a fresh and enjoyable watching experience. At first, the protagonist seemed overpowered with no storyline and a complete harem, but this was not the case. Naofumi's character development was amazing as he faced many obstacles and reached his breaking point. He even overcame all odds and people against him with his strong will. I watched 12 episodes in one sitting and I must say that this anime deserves a 9 out of 10 rating. Number 3. The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime It follows the story of Satoru Mikami, a dissatisfied 37-year-old who dies in a robbery and is reincarnated as a slime monster in a fantasy world. As he adjusts to his new life, 
he interacts with other monsters and starts a series of events that will change the world he is in. I was pleasantly surprised by this show. I initially thought it would be boring and uninteresting, but I was wrong. It's a great mix of isekai and comedy and the humor is genuinely funny. It had me laughing throughout the show and if you enjoy isekai and are looking for something light and entertaining, then that time I got reincarnated as a slime is definitely worth checking out. And finally number 1. Konosuba Konosuba is a fun anime that takes a comedic approach to the average boy in fantasy world with RPG-like aspects storyline. Instead of making the main character overpowered, the show focuses on simple, light-hearted comedy. Don't expect the story to go anywhere big, but the jokes will keep you entertained. The humor is aimed more to us young adults, and while it may not be for everyone, it's worth giving a shot if you are looking something to pass the time or a comedic take on the fantasy RPG world. The art, animation, and the sound are average, with some noteworthy moments sprinkled throughout. Overall, Konosuba is a fun and light-hearted anime that's worth checking out. If you are not sure if it's for you, watch the first episode and see if it hooks you in. And that's it for our list of the top 10 best isekai anime on Crunchyroll in 2023. Whether you are a fan of action-packed adventures, heartwarming stories, or hilarious comedies, there's something on this list for everyone. We hope this video has helped you discover some new and exciting anime to add to your watch list. Don't forget to let us know in the comment sections which isekai anime is your favorite and if there are any other shows you think should have made the list. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Happy reading!